We're in EE's offices with our CTO of the year 2015, Fotis Coronis. Uh, now, Fotis, I suppose we should ask the most important question to begin with. Uh, how does it feel to win the award? Have I actually won it, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm very delighted. Honestly, I'm very delighted for this award of CTO of Europe. I mean, it's uh, such a huge honour, uh, which I dedicate to my team, basically, um, for, you know, incredibly hard work and staying focused to always, you know, be a leader in the networks and the you know overall in the technology space, so uh, as well as for EE as a you know overall. So it's it's really really delightful, and uh, I, I didn't expect it personally. So thank you, <laughs> thank you for this. So how has the CTO role changed over the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean the uh, technology is the core business of you know the mobile communication industry. So the, the range of uh, activity is very large, you know. So um, basically it's a world that is bringing the network technologies with the IT technologies together. There's a lot of techniques which are pretty similar from, uh, you know, developing, rolling out projects. So in project management, uh, the, the notion of quality of service is vital. And the impact of whatever we do has a direct impact to the consumer and to the customer experience. And uh, we are practically the first also the technology people to notice a positive impact or a or a, a potentially negative impact so that we can learn from that anticipate and work as a team in order to provide always top level of service and e went very very heavily into lte i was interested if you could tell me why the company went so big on this particular type of technology uh, a company that you know came from a very massive uh, integration uh, program it was delightful to, to provide a new vision, you know, going forward and to say what really, really is inspiring for the UK, for us as people that work in this company and really roll out a, a technology, which is the LTE 4G technology, which makes so, so much sense in a, in a country which is the fastest moving, you know, data consuming, uh, you know, country in Europe. And I think that was a really delightful and very inspiring uh, uh, target to go for. E, of course, was a bit lucky perhaps to have a bit of a head start on its rivals. However, it really kept that lead for a considerable time after and still leads today. How were you able to stay so far ahead of your rivals? I think first of all, we were not lucky. I think uh, what we, is important is that we aligned around this new vision with Olaf and all of our teams uh, in order to, uh, to, to stay ahead of the curve in technology. I mean, uh, we just took advantage of, we, we, of our skills and our motivation and our passion for leadership and to bring this, as we said previously, you know, to the UK in terms of a data experience 4G, uh, because you know the competition could also use their spectrums in a, in, a, in, a, in an according way. So what we uh, we were very um, you know we took this bold step and uh, we 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 uh, we decided to 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 you know to team up with an ecosystem of companies that we want to work with and to be absolutely uh, you know successful in the first landing. Uh, there were many dimensions and ingredients, starting from the actual 4G technology, the you know the base station, the Enode B technology, the core systems, which were very vital in order to get a you know the new IP world, moving from a classic world, if you like, of 3G into a, a pure data-driven world, and then getting the transmission, which was a very very uh, you know important uh, you know enabler of our ecosystem. It's basically like if it fuels, if you like, our uh, our, our industry, and uh, to get all these things together under a sophisticated. Uh, uh, a plan and incorporating also the best uh, device manufacturers of the world is quite a quite a complicated equation if you like and uh, and we uh, we applied that successfully and very very quickly it's a lot of hard work a lot of talent a lot of uh, hard work be behind the scenes but also with our you know ecosystem partners and uh, and even our shareholders and stakeholders to ensure that we we, we roll out very quickly and we get a success in the uh, in what we what happened. It was very successful. The other thing that I have to uh, state here is the tight cooperation with the IT because all these things cannot be possible. Uh, you can't launch you know new technologies and so on if you also, if you, your CRM and your billing systems and your retail and your con customer relationship systems are are aligned. And that was a very big exercise because we also launched a new brand. You see, we launched a new identity. Uh, of being, you know, really new and innovative in the industry in the UK, and uh, and that is a, a you know a series of a series of combined projects which we landed successfully. Over the past twelve months, what do you think the biggest challenge was that you and your team faced? I would say the you know the big challenge is to be if you're you know positioned as number one and you're going into I would say uncharted territory as far as the technology is concerned. Uh, 
there is a, a number of precautions and things you have to you know, take into consideration. You have to build a prototype environment of what you're actually trying to deliver in the end. Uh, the fact that I was in the IT maybe also, it's in very interesting, I mean, applying some of these newer methodologies of deployment, uh, you know, the prototyping with iterations around that, and, uh, and getting, the, getting this, uh, let's say, end-to-end -end experience right on the first three months or four months of the project that people you know are inspired by the result they understand that the whole thing is working end to end from the from the device uh, to the you know the you know be the transmission the the core systems the customer experience and understanding how it all works together with the IT that was a very important step that that actually locked the success of the project that we now we just need to roll out and roll out and roll out and working really hard with you know MSP providers and the you know technology providers uh, to get into those cities, you know, that was a very, very difficult target. You know, we launched in uh, 12 cities in a very short period of time of 8 to 10 months, you know. And, uh, I don't think it has happened potentially in Europe anymore. I don't, I don't think it has. And at the same time, we also did site integration and renewals and all that stuff. So it was pretty, pretty uh, complicated to work as an end-to-end team. Mm -hmm. and, by, and one of the critical success factors is to make sure the ecosystem also gets the same level of I would say, you know, inspiration, sense of achievement, sense of teamwork as one team. We're sitting all as, as people, you know, and teams to make this work in the end. And that was really hard.